This is a Craftsman chop vac, wet dry vac, vacuum thing, whatever. Um, this is the second one of these that I've inherited with a condition like this where the filter nut is has busted off and it's just been kind of left for dead. So what uh, we're going to do here is A, we're going to fix it and uh, B, we're going to take a closer look and show you what happened. There's two ways to do this and I'm going to take the easy but slightly more expensive way. So we'll take a closer look. This is the top of the shop vac, and as you can notice, there's a little hole. This is, I believe this is the filter that was on it. There's a little hole in here where there's usually a little threaded post that comes out and a nut comes on. The threaded post has broken off. The nut is gone. Uh, you know, it might be someplace. I don't know. Um, so, you know, you can kind of see here where this is broken off. We'll even walk this up here. You can see that's broken off. Again, there's a, a, a threaded a threaded post, and the filter locks on with a, with a, a nut. So again, this is the second one I've gotten of these. You know, the the post breaks off, and um, it gets left in a corner for dead, and it stays there. And then uh, I managed to get it. This is I think this is probably the cheap way to do it. This is a filter. And hopefully you can see this thing. I believe it's a ShopVac branded filter. Now if you notice on the bottom of it, there's no hole. This has a, um, this is a, a flexible fit gasket that just slaps over and grabs on the top here. There's no nut needed down there. So we'll just uh, kind of open this thing up. And, you know, actually, we'll just take a little short walk across the label. And then we'll open it up and we'll put it on. Okay, so we're taking the wrapping off the filter. And it just goes on like this. And then you just sort of press it around the top, and that's... That's not going anywhere. That's good. I I think I think this filter might have cost me 16 bucks. Not sure. Um, I, I guess that's not the cheapest way to do it. You know, if you wanted to replace the post on here to make this work, I wouldn't think anything of maybe putting in a um, just a, another bolt, an extension bolt, and putting a maybe a washer, maybe a washer or another nut around here. It might rust a little bit if you're using it wet so maybe stainless um, word that but this is just done and again I've, I've inherited two shop vacs with nothing wrong with them other than this this filter thing so you know maybe you can get your broken shop vac out of the garage before I do okay thank you so here it is basically free shop vac I had to pay a little something to get a different filter that works for this and uh, the repair actually probably took very little time, but uh, here we are. <laughs>